Hello guys, my name is Ali A and welcome to a domination game where I'll be using one of my favourite classes in the whole game of Modern Warfare 3 Online. As you can see here, this is all, uh, all of the details for the class setup. Of course the point streaks uh, can be interchanged, the death streaks, uh, equipment can be changed slightly, but the general perks, gun and sidearm setup uh, is one of my favourite in the game. Um, alongside that is the ACR, but uh, in this video here we're going to be focusing on this one. Um, I, I think the UMP is associated with the UMP from Modern Warfare fair 2 where it's really overpowered um, at all ranges and it's a bit too strong uh, but I don't think that's the case uh, in this game at all. Uh, the reason though that I do prefer the SMG or this particular SMG uh, in Modern Warfare 3 is because of uh, the ease of uh, being able to control the, the recoil because at longer range um, it, it is kind of weak. As you can see they get a fair amount of hit markers before I actually finish them off but once you get uh, to know the recoil and able to control the recoil then uh, you can do really well with it. Um, it's not the closest up range out of all of the SMGs. Uh, there's the PP90 gun, there's the MP5 and they all kill closer up range but as a general all-rounded gun this is definitely my favourite and um, Unfortunately, we lost B at the beginning now. I was trying to protect it, uh, but couldn't quite get a good enough uh, target on the beginning enemy there. Um, but running into that room is a fantastic place to pick off people, both trying to get B and uh, flanking around from the right. And here is another room uh, on the other side of the map, which I love to uh, take position in and uh, take control of the map. Because the maps in Modern Warfare 3 are all very tight in terms of cornering and in terms of uh, meeting enemies. Uh, and as you saw there, it, the UMP does get a lot of hit markers at long range. Um, but if you're able to keep your target or your aim on target then you can uh, once you empty I believe it's five bullets for chest maybe at uh, a longer range and you will finish them off and uh, I'm using the assault uh, kill streaks here personally I only have the uh, support uh, kill streak or point streak uh, set up uh, on one or none of my classes uh, if I'm playing badly then I'll, I'll pull it out as a sort of um, uh, backup plan um, but I, I really dislike the challenge of actually going for um, and building up those kill streaks because to me just going for the sport package just isn't fun enough and I was going to jump down this guy and uh, see if I could get a knife on him because I had no ammo there but I managed to pick up the M4 instead um, but using the assault package and watch this, this is the worst spawn I've ever seen in Modern Warfare 3 so I kill him and then he spawns right there, watch this watch this he literally spawned exactly where I, where I killed him, I'll have to send that into some sort of channel maybe amazing films 24-7 or something, see if they'll take it as one of the worst spawns in the game ever um, but knowing the map is very important in Modern Warfare 3 and as I said I'll hopefully be doing that Learn the Spawn series at some point because you guys seem to uh, really want to see that as well um, that will give you a great idea uh, in different game modes where the spawns orientate around um, in Domination you can just generally know that they're going to be spawning around the one flag or the one point that they have but it can be a little more tricky than that in different game modes um, and the Stinger Missiles, so moving on to the Stinger Missiles my secondary, I have the Stinger Missiles my secondary in almost every single one of my classes and I'm going to be doing a particular video uh, to show off why uh, it's so effective um, because they introduced the uh, whole point system where you can actually get points now for shooting things out of the air, capturing flags, um, shooting down UAVs, counter UAVs and attack helicopters because they only take one hit as soon as they get in the air is really really important. Um, as soon as I see an attack helicopter I'll make sure that there are no enemies near me, try and get out into the open so I can actually see it and um, shoot it down and again this is why I have blind eye on this class um, uh, blind eye means you can't be hit by the enemy um, and assassin doesn't doesn't uh, go towards that at all. Assassin will mean that you... I was, I was thinking of stealing these care packages here because I thought or I believed that uh, actually taking those counter UAVs and UAVs and then calling them in would actually earn more points for fear crads there um, but I let, let them take them anyway. Um, but yeah, the uh, blind eye perk will actually protect you from the kill streak, so you don't have to worry about when you're trying to shoot them down uh, being shot by them. And the UAVs, if you do look in the air, they're fairly obvious. They're sort of like tiny birds, uh, dark black grey birds in the distance. You can shoot them down and that will instantly get you one point. Um, and then shooting those down, as soon as you get them in the air, it will earn you points towards your kill streak. And you can, if, if you're really on it, um, and there's lots of UAVs in the air and lots of attack helicopters, you can earn three, four, even whole five points streak and get your predator just from uh, that guy's been stunned or been hit by the recon drone, so I knew exactly where he was. Uh, may as well just take prone and make sure that I'm going to get a shot on him. Um, but yeah, as I said, um, the Stinger Missile is a really valuable sidearm and I tend to just pick up um, other people's primary weapons if I run out of ammo. Um, and the Assassin perk, uh, it, it, I think again it has negative connotations with um, 
uh, Ghost from Black Ops because Ghost was quite prominent there and everyone didn't like it at all. Um, <laughs> that guy's trying to trying to sit away in the in the flowers with, or the grass didn't quite work there. But I think uh, Ghost or Assassin uh, they sort of link together and people have negative connotations with them. But in all honesty, I haven't seen very many people using Assassin at all um, from from the games that I've played and the time I put into Modern Warfare 3 so far, which is only a good thing, I guess. Um, it can get quite annoying, but then I again I use it to my advantage, uh, and I can't complain about something I use myself. So I I, I just think it's uh, the perk two slots really well rounded. You've got quick draw, um, assassin, and oh god the third one in there. That all of them deserve that point uh, that slot in your second tier perk slot. And it's really hard to choose between them, um, but assassin and blind eye work really well together on this silence UMP. Uh, making sure that your gun's silenced on this class, um, you can always switch it out for your preferred submachine gun, but having a silence one there is really, really important, um, so you can be aggressive, and in this gameplay I was more tactical than aggressive, but I do have gameplay up, or well, I'm going to have gameplay up, where I'm super aggressive, and I really enjoy putting on that silence an assassin and just running straight into the enemy spawn and uh, getting, getting all those points there, but here... <laughs> see just to get loads of hit markers again uh, I've got the Pavlo attack helicopter and press missile kill streak on uh, the attack helicopter and Pavlo are both really good um, they can be shot down quickly if the enemy team are onto it and if they are onto it then they don't do too much damage um, but those three uh, point streaks are really really good there and 12 is tough it's high but um, the attack helicopter can get you a lot of kills and help you work towards that as well um, I believe I have a Semtex as my um, lethal kill streak, and the Semtex is a lot better still than the uh, the normal grenade as it was in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. Um, though, because uh, of course you don't have to hold it down on time, you can literally just throw it. Uh, it doesn't do as much damage as it did in Modern Warfare 2, but it's still a lot more useful and a lot more. Well, personally, I prefer it over the normal frag grenade. Um, you then got my death streak was at juice, but to be honest, I don't change any of my death streaks anyway. Don't get them too often, and uh, when I do get them, juice is perfectly fine anyway. And there's loads of enemies here appearing on the advanced UAV as I run into this room here. And uh, one of the suggestions that was uh, suggested in Modern Warf or Black Ops, sorry, to counter um, uh, Ghost was that when you get three UAVs or two UAVs overlapping, so all being called at the same time, it turns into a SR-71, which was sort of the uh, advanced UAV equivalent in Black Ops, so that you could see Ghost users. Um, but in this game, they actually implemented that, so when you call in three UAVs, it will turn into an advanced UAV. Unfortunately, I couldn't finish off those guys there. Um, and if, though they won't pick up Assassin, it's still a really neat tip there that you may not know about. Um, so this is generally just my favourite class, or one of my favourite classes between the ACRs. I said, and I will cover the ACR at some point. Um, uh, I know a lot of you guys aren't overly keen on seeing UMP gameplay, but as I said, I think it's a perfectly fair gun and balanced gun. And in all honesty, I don't think it's anything to complain about because the guns in this game are really, really balanced. Um, I've got the Moab kill streak as well. I'm hoping to get even more of those, and I've decided that I probably won't prestige in this game. Um, I'll just stay, get as many golden guns as I can, uh, get as many titles and emblems as I can, and just basically focus my Modern Warfare 2 playing time on uh, bringing the content and the gun gameplay that you guys want to see. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a Spec Ops and multiplayer video out each day. Um, of the week apart from the weekend um, for the next few weeks and then we'll see how it's going from there maybe we'll do even more videos on certain days and less than other days depending uh, but here we go the final score is 43 and 4 so that's over a 10 KD there uh, me and Fear Crads and uh, I think Chris is in our party not sure who Chris is but uh, we work well as a team there managed to uh, win the final game uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed clicking the like button and favorite button really helps me out and the more we get the better so thank you so much for watching guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video video.